Hello everybody, little different video today. This is car dealership inventory. I'm just browsing around checking out some of the new uh, vehicles at the car dealerships. I uh, felt this would be a great video to do here. So we're going to just take a look at the inventory and uh, the vehicles here. SUVs, cars, trucks and uh, also as well. We'll look at the pricing, what their you know, uh, MSRP is. Well first I'm starting out here. I'm on the Chrysler Dodge dealer and we're looking at the Dodge Rams. Let's get a little closer look up here. This is the 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter. This is in white. Yeah, I always get it. I'm not looking to buy a new car or truck, but always enjoy, you know, once or twice a year, I'd take a look at the what the new uh, vehicles are going for and just checking them out. Only thing it won't tell us is, you know, what the leasing is on them. And as, as far as, you know, financing and price, this is just give us a rough estimate on, you know, sticker price on the new cars and trucks. This is a nice little color here. This is like a dark blue. Let me come back, further back, yup. Let me try to see if I have one that has a sticker on it here. Sticker is at 42,640. Wow. Let me try to get it in here. It's kind of hard here with the tinted window to get the sticker. Oh, I take that back. That's the base price. Total price 50 G's. 50,765. Wow. Yep, they're not cheap anymore. No. This is the Dodge Durango RT. Uh, the sticker on this one is 50, just slightly over 51 G's. That's a nice SUV. Probably more bells and whistles. That looks like the loaded out model, the RT. I'm going to do a little walk around slowly here for you guys. So you're around 50 G's MSRP if you're thinking of a Dodge Durango. I'll come around here to the side. I got a used Mercury Grand Marquis. I love it. Uh, but I still like seeing what the vehicles are going for and taking a look at what's out and about, like I say, a couple times a year. All right. That's the Dodge Durango. Real nice. Let's move on here. Okay. One more look at the Dodge Ram pickup truck. They got a whole bunch of them here lined up. I kind of like this grayish color. Both those grays look kind of cool. The light gray and that dark gray right after the black truck there. Let's take a look at one more Dodge Ram. I'll come up over here to the white one. 4x4 four four Bighorn. Let's take a look in the bed here. Uh, short bed. I don't know if quite if this is six foot. I'll have to check the sticker on it. The club cab here. This is the Sport. We'll take a look inside, why don't we, here. Let me bring my camera up to the window. And get a little reflection from the trees here, but any rate, this Dodge Ram, nice pickup truck for sure. This, these suckers are around 50,000 uh, MSRP, 1500 model, 5.7 liter, nice rims. All right, this is the Chrysler Pacifica here. I checked the sticker on it. It's around the MSRP is a little over 46,000. So you're around 45, 46,000 MSRP on these Chrysler Pacifica. Yeah, they call it, I believe they call it the crossover, but basically it's a pretty much like the minivan. Um, not quite my thing. I've never been big into the minivans or some of the crossovers, but at any rate, this is the Chrysler Pacifica. I'll come in here, get a little closer look. Some of you guys might be interested. 
This is nice white color on the Pacifica here. I'm going to do a little walk around. I'll go slow here. Yeah, so uh, you're in around 45,000, 46,000 MSRP on one of these. This is the 20, uh, 2020 here. I'll come around and take a look at the back. Let's take a look inside the front here where you get one of these non-tinted windows. It's inside the Pacifica. If I'm picking it up, it's hard for me to see my camera screen with the sun here. But no biggie. Here's the back of the Pacifica. Let me just come back a little further so you can get a better look at it. Big tailgate on it, you know, just like a minivan. So, hey, if you got a couple of kids and, you know, you got your family, this might be a much better option than a SUV, this Pacifica. Load up the two or three kids in there, you know, go to the soccer game, all the crap could go in the back. Okay, here's a look at one of the uh, Jeep Wranglers here at the uh, Chrysler Dodge uh, Jeep dealership. They got the neat little prop there with the fake rock under the tire. We take a wrap around. This MSRP, the, the uh, sticker is inside sitting on the passenger seat there, was uh, for, around, just around 42 k 42000 on this Jeep Wrangler. And the price could vary quite a bit on these Wranglers. There are a lot of different models. This is a nice white hard top Wrangler here. Let's take a look inside. Uh, I'll come through the window and in the back. Okay, here we go. So hard for me to see. Okay, there's the wheel a little bit inside to look in it. Now, I go during a weekday, but I just don't want to be having an hour conversation with one of the salespeople, and then a lot of them wouldn't want to be wasting their time with me if I just tell them I'm shooting a video and I'm not interested in purchasing anything. So, I'm out here on a Sunday having fun. Here's a look at the, sh the shock absorber, the tires here for the uh, Wrangler. So yeah, it was just something fun, killing some time here. This Sunday, just checking out the inventory at some of the dealerships. And this is a, my local Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealership here. Let's come over here, and this is the Jeep Rubicon. This thing stickers at almost 60,000 MSRP. Woo! Kind of like a cross between a Wrangler and a little pickup truck. You know, you get a little bit of the best of both worlds with this uh, Rubicon, but it is not cheap. Almost 60 G's. It was 59 something MSRP on this uh, Jeep Rubicon. Cool look, though. I gotta say that. And I love this. I love this color on it. All right, let's take a look inside here. I'll bring the camera inside, and then I'll get a better view of the Rubicon from a distant shot. The front of it. Yeah, so I'm just kind of doing this video here. You know, uh, some of you uh, ladies and gentlemen might be interested in purchasing a new vehicle or you just like uh, cars and uh, like me. Uh, you know, just something fun to look at here. Dealership inventory. Let me come about out here, get a better little distant shot of that Jeep Rubicon. Nice, nice indeed, but not cheap. Like I say, the sticker on this thing is about $59,000, right around there. So you're almost $60,000 for a Jeep Rubicon. Now, I'm sure you get some money knocked off when you would actually purchase it, but still, very expensive vehicle. And here's a big look at the front of the dealership. All right, all right. This is a look inside the Jeep Grand Cherokee here, everybody. Let me get a little distant shot. All right, the Jeep Grand Cherokee here. This sticker's around 42, 43,000. A look at when I looked at the sticker on a few different models of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Beautiful SUV, it is, it is indeed. There's a quick look at it. 
Friday, we're at the Honda dealership here. This is the HRV, uh, kind of a mid size to smaller size crossover here. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the pricing on it because the sticker is on the seat and it is face down. But I'll let you take a look at it here. This is the Honda crossover, the HRV, all wheel drive. Let me do a little walk around here and I'll come up, let you get a good look inside the HRV. I'm sure you go on the Honda website, it'll give you the uh, MSRP if this is something that you might be interested in. Heck, like I say, kind of a smaller crossover, the Honda HRV. Let's take a look inside, shall we? I'm moving a little quick with the camera, but let me get the camera up close here. All right, there's the seat. Let me see if I can come around here. It's tough though, to get a little reflection with the glass. That's the HRV. All right, moving on. This is a beautiful red color, the Honda Accord here. And this sticker's right around 28 G's. Just shy of 28,000 the sticker is on this Honda Accord. Now this Honda Accord, uh, I'll, let, I'll put my camera inside, has fabric seats, not the uh, all leather. So I'm sure you're probably over another 1500 or so, you get the leather and all the bells and whistles. There's several different models of the Honda Accord. It's been a uh, big selling car for Honda for years, the Accord. Let me come back, get you a full view. Okay, let's come in here, take a look inside, shall we, in the sticker. If I can get a good shot of this, the sticker on it. Here we go, that's the sticker on the Honda Accord. Let me come in here, take a look inside. I hope you get a pretty good view here. It's tough for me to see. I get such a glare on my uh, Sony Handycam here. At any rate, that's the Honda Accord. Stickers around MSRP on this one, uh, just shy of 28,000. All right, here's a little Honda Fit. This is kind of like the uh, Ford Fiesta subcompact car. I'm going to walk back, give you a good distance view on the Honda Fit. I don't care for this color, though. I don't know. If... Each is to their own. I won't be caught dead in this bright orange color. It's kind of like the cars. I see some cars with that lime green color. At any rate, let's go around to the front here. This sticker is just over 20000 this Honda Fit. These, to me, are more the car for uh, the young ladies, the college students, just something that, you know, get around it, don't want a big vehicle. Honda Fit would be a great choice, a little subcompact car. Let me get in here, see if I can show you the sticker. If you can see it. Ah, uh, any rate. That's around 20,000 MSRP. Let me bring my camera in to the inside of the Honda Fit here. It's just so tough, like I said, I get this glare on my Sony Handycam to see if you, know, if you guys are getting a good view or not on the inside of it. This is fabric interior, so I'm sure, like I say with the cord, if uh, you get into a uh, leather interior, you're probably around another 1500, you get leather interior, a little more bells and whistles. Oh, okay, the seats fold down in the back so you can put some junk in there, you pick up some stuff from the store. Little Honda Fit. This one here, this is the Honda Odyssey. Now these are some used ones in front just to give you a quick look at and I'll come in closer. The 2017 stickers just shy of 25,000 they're asking. The 2018, uh, 31,995, uh, so basically almost 32,000 for the 2018. And the 2019, uh, they're asking uh, just shy of 33,000. Honda Odyssey. Uh, it's, it's real close to minivan, you know, kind of a, a bigger crossover, almost a minivan. Let's get in closer, take a look, shall we? We'll look at the 2018 here real quick. Let me bring the camera in, get you a look inside. This is the Honda Odyssey. This is a 2018 here. Beautiful, the leather interior, leather steering wheel, kind of the fake wood grain, a lot of uh, 
Uh, the big, uh, you know, flat screen in the middle of it, the console there. Lots of room, lots of uh, foot space, arm space. Let's come around back real quick, take a look at the back of the Honda Odyssey. Give you just a quick look at that. Like I say, these are, this is the 2017 here, 2018, and that's the 2019, that's the Honda Odyssey. Kind of a bigger size crossover, almost the size of like a minivan, I should say, you know, like a Chrysler Town & Country minivan. At any rate, there's a quick look at the Honda Odyssey. Okay, the Ford Raptor pickup truck. This basically a uh, heavy duty, uh, fully loaded Ford F-150. And these sticker MSRP just shy of $68,000. Good look at three of them here at the Ford dealership. Let's get a closer look, shall we? Uh, this is nice gray color on this Raptor. Let me get you a look at the uh, VIN sticker on this one. Yeah, it's an F-150, heavy duty, fully loaded out. Let's take a look inside. I'll come around to the driver's side. We'll get a look in there that way as well. Here's the bed, very short bed on this pickup truck. I'm sure you get a bed liner when you're paying 68,000. You should get a free bed liner with it. This one doesn't have the liner in it. Let's look at the back of the pickup truck here, the Raptor. There's a look at the back of the Raptor. Okay, let's take a look inside, shall we? Hold on here, I know it's a little blurry when I'm moving with the camera. All right, wow, this is nice. All the bells and whistles in this sucker. Beautiful pickup truck, Club Cab 2. I love this. I have this on my grand marquee right here. You can put in the little pin number. That way you don't have to lock your keys in the car or your keys are buried in your pocket. Let's get a look at the tires here on this sucker. There we go. I'll come around here. Let's take a look inside. This is the uh, black color Raptor. See if I can get the... the uh, sticker right here for you. That's the VIN sticker on the Ford F-150 Raptor. Okay, these are the Ford F-150 pickup trucks here. This first one we'll take a look at. It's the Sport 4x4. And this sticker's MSRP right around $50,000. Brand new. I like the rims and tire on this. They're Michelin's. Got the nice little Ford logo in the middle. Beautiful rims. This is, uh, like I say, a little smaller bed, but you're getting that, a lot of people like that full-size club cab. Plenty of room, you know, you got uh, some kids or you're going, got a group of people you want to take. Plenty of room in the F-150 XLT Sport. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to move the camera a little bit here. That's the Ford F-150 XLT Sport here. Stickers around $50,000. It's a V6 EcoBoost. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is a 2011 uh, Ford Ranger. Now, 2011 was the last year Ford Motor Company did the uh, Ford Ranger, as well with the Mercury Grand Marquis Crown Victoria Lincoln Town Car. I have a Mercury Grand Marquis. But as you can see, that's a uh, much smaller size pickup truck. They're asking 13.5 for this. Uh, 2011 uh, Ford Ranger. I'll do a little walk around here for you guys and we'll take a look inside here. Yeah, I used to love these pickup trucks back in the 90s. I mean, the, the Ranger and the uh, Chevy S10, you could get some sweet deals on them back in the day. Shoot, I remember you'd be a thousand down and maybe like 135, you know, 125 a month on uh, the Ranger and S10. At any rate, this is a 4x4. That's probably why they're asking 13.5 for it. Let's take a look inside. It's an automatic and it's a V6. Here's the bed on it. Nice size bed. 
Okay, I'm over here looking at the new Ford Rangers 2020s. I'm not sure how well you could see this, the VIN sticker on it. Uh, this sticker is just shy of $32,000, the new Ford Ranger 2020. Uh, 22 miles per gallon average, 20 city, 24 highway. Let me uh, come out here and give you a, a kind of a distance view of these Ford Rangers. These are the new 2020 Ford Rangers. Uh, you could, as you could see, that 2011, the older style Ranger, these are much bigger, but not quite as big as the F-150s. All right, let's get a closer look at this uh, Ford Ranger XL. Let's take a look at the front here. I'm going to do a little walk around, a wrap around here of it. And go look inside as well. Not too big on those rims. I mean, that looks like a spare tire type rim or you'd see a rim on a cop car, you know. But it is a pickup truck. You know, a lot of people use this for work and... You know, you live out in the countryside getting around. Not too worried about all the cosmetics, but oh, here's the bed of the truck. No liner on this one. All right, let me get a look here from the back. Well, that's nice. There's one that's already got the big like uh, storage kit in the bed, the bed of the pickup truck, that black Ford Ranger. I like that blue color. That's pretty cool. Really sharp looking Ford Ranger there. Let's take a look inside here through the window. See how the Ranger looks, the 2020 Ford Ranger. I'm not sure how well you could see this, guys, but maybe you're seeing me here, my reflection. At any rate, that's a look at the 2020 Ford Ranger. All right, this is the uh, Ford Fusion. Uh, when I was just looking at the Rangers here, some announcement came over a loudspeaker with about four or five cameras up above it and telling me not to go in the vehicles and blah, 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 some automated one. They probably got a motion sensory on the, on the, by the pole there with the cameras. I was kind of laughing. <laughs> At any rate, uh, this is a nice car here, the Fusion. I used to have a 2010 Fusion, as a matter of fact. Great car. Uh, let's, the sticker on this is, let me come up here to the VIN for you guys. Uh, this this particular Fusion just stickers at twenty five thousand four hundred ninety five. Uh, twenty seven miles per gallon average, thirty three city, thirty four highway. Let's take a look inside. I keep getting my reflection there. I'll try to put the camera as close as I can. Got the LED flats like the flat screen in there. Uh, really nice. This one is fabric interior. Let's take a look at the back of the Fusion here. Not the biggest trunk. My 2010 wasn't quite as aerodynamic, and I believe I had a little bigger trunk on my 2010 Fusion. These are a big selling car. I'm going to whip around here. Here's the Fusion in the white and the blue color. Let you take a look at. Yeah, so you're around probably about 25000 to twenty eight or so on a Ford Fusion. Then you also, any of these vehicles too, they're going to get you to tack on uh, the cost of the uh, warranty. Some come, you know, include with the warranty. So a lot of times you got to pay extra. You want that 100,000 mile warranty. But that's all dependent on if you're going to be financing and buying a car and keeping it in a while or if you're just going to be leasing. Any rate, let's move on. Here's a look at the Ford Fusion. Okay, the Ford Explorer. This is the full-size SUV, the Ford Explorer 2020s. Here's some of they have in the front here at the dealership. Let's take a look at this white one over here. I'm gonna do a little walk around again. This averages, I believe it was 23 miles per gallon was the average on this, on the uh, Ford Ex Explorer. I'll take a look at what the MSRP is on this here in just a second, just giving you guys a look. There's tires. Give you a little distance look, the white Ford Explorer here. Let's take a look inside. I'll put the camera inside. Boy, this one's a, got the leather and all the bells and whistles on it. And I'm going to give you a look inside this one here. The MSRP on this, uh, $45,980. 
this particular model here. This is the blue uh, Ford Explorer. Let's take a look at the back here. They're so close together, but here's one that's black. They got the tailgate here. That's a, a look at the back of the Ford Explorer. Let me come out and give you a distance look here at the Ford Explorer. Nice blue color. I like that dark blue on the Ford Explorer there. This is the full size uh, SUV Ford Explorer. Hey, Ford EcoSport. Uh, this averages 28 miles per gallon. Let's take a little walk around. This is a white color one here. This is a smaller SUV Ford makes, the EcoSport. I'm going to come around here. I'll get the price on it, what this one's going for, the EcoSport. We'll take a look inside in the back. Let me come back at you a little distance view. Eh, not bad rims on it. Let's take a look inside here. Got the leather interior on this one, all the bells and whistles. This is the smaller SUV. Now this, uh, let me bring the camera here, maybe you could, if I can get you here, this window's tinted, so it might be hard to see. This uh, MSRP is 27360 on this EcoSport. Let's take a look at the back here. That's the Titanium EcoSport right here. Eh, just more bells and whistles, I guess, with the Titanium. Here's the uh, SE EcoSport. Let me walk around here and see what the price difference is on the SE model is. Okay, this MSRP is $25,540 on the SE model of the uh, EcoSport. Let me bring the camera in if you can see if I don't get the glare. This has the fabric interior here on the SE model. We get one more look at the EcoSports here for you. Ford EcoSports, a smaller SUV. Okay, that's the Ford EcoSport. Okay, I'm at the Buick GMC dealership here. Here's a look at the GMC Sierra. That's the full-size pickup truck. Uh, it's kind of the competition to the Ford F-150 and the Dodge Ram. And, uh, you know, pretty much the same truck as the Chevy Silverado. Let's take a closer look. This sticker at this black truck I looked at, 51000 and change. Here's a look at the back of the Sierra. Okay, let's come around to the side, check out this kind of uh, red uh, color Sierra here. Do a little walk around. Nice rims on it. This is around 50, well, 51,000 and change. These uh, two Sierras I looked at here, V8. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to bring the camera up so we can see inside through the window here. Beautiful pickup truck, just like the Dodge Ram and the Ford F-150. There's the flat screen. Uh, this one has the cloth interior, but still nice. Really, really nice. Club cab. Here's a look at the bed here. It's got the nice liner on it. Okay. Let's take a look at the front of the GMC Sierra. It's a 5 0.3 liter V8 motor in these uh, Sierras. Okay, the Buick Encore. Unfortunately, these Encores here, I didn't see a VIN sticker on them, but this is uh, a little bigger than the Ford EcoSport. Sharp little SUV. Here's the white and the red, the gray, so forth. Let's take a look at this white Buick Encore here. I like the rims on it, not bad. Aluminum rims look nice on it. A smaller size SUV. Take a look inside. I'll put the camera here. This has got the cloth interior. A nice little SUV. A little bigger than the EcoSport. Let's take a look at the back. Now, hold on here. I got to come around. I got a tree in my way. Back of the uh, Buick Encore all-wheel drive. Little SUV. Let me come over here and give you a better view. 
Here's a side view of the Buick Encore. Nice little SUV, I must say. Uh, I'm going to have to wrap this up here in a little bit. I might have one more dealership, but uh, the rain's starting to come down. Can't do too much about Mother Nature. GMC Acadia. Yeah, this is pretty much the competition to the Ford Explorer and the Dodge Durango. This uh, MSRP was 44700 and change on this Acadia. Let's do a little uh, walk around. Let's take a look at the front here of the Acadia. I don't know, I kind of tend, tend to like this Acadia a little more than the Explorer, the look of it, that's for sure. I'll take a look on the inside of the Acadia here. I won't have too much time, we're getting a little bit of rain that's coming down. Alright, let's come in here, take a look inside in the back of the Acadia. This is your full size SUV, the competition to the Durango and the Explorer as I said. This one has a leather interior, beautiful interior inside here. I tell you, the dash, the seats, everything. Full-size SUV. Here's the tires on it, the rims, the aluminum rims, the little GMC logo, not bad. SLT model. Here's a look at the back of the Acadia. Okay, we're at the Toyota dealership here. First up is the RAV4. This is the hybrid XSE. Now this sticker is just shy of 37,000 uh, K. And it gets about 40 miles per gallon fuel efficiency. Uh, kind of like a mid-size SUV. Not quite the size of the Acadia or the Explorer, but much bigger than the EcoSport. Let me get a side view, and then I'll take a look inside in the front of it here for you. There's the rims. Let me get a little look at the rims here. Really nice black with the Toyota logo. Okay, let me come up over here. Here's a look inside. This is cloth interior, kind of gray with lightly uh, blue lines in it. Leather wrapped steering wheel, flat screen, really nice. This uh, hybrid. Let's take a look at the front, shall we? I'll kind of try to get back here to take a better look at this RAV4. That's the hybrid RAV4. This is another RAV4 right here. Toyota RAV4, nice SUV. Tundra. Okay, this is Toyota's full-size pickup. This is the competition to the Ford F-150, Dodge Ram, uh, the Chevy Silverado, GMC Sierra. Let's take a look at it here. This kind of a like a weird color on this one. This is kind of almost like a, a red, but a little bit of orange look to it on this Tundra here. Let's take a look inside. Check out the sticker MSRP on it, which is 55,479 is the MSRP on this uh, Toyota Tundra. I'll come around the other side. Oh boy, this is a beautiful one. Brown leather interior. Got that kind of like fake wood grain flat screen on it. Let's take a look around the side and I'll come around to, and give you a better look inside through the driver's side. Nice rims on it. Let's look at the back here and I'll show you the bed. This Toyota Tundra, full size pickup truck Toyota makes. Here's the bed on it. Nice liner. Small bed though, but this is the club cab. Alright, let me come around here, give you a better look inside, try to get the camera closer. There's a steering wheel. Beautiful leather interior on it. Nice center console. Alright. Let me give you a look at the from the front here of the Toyota Tundra. Let me back up a little bit, okay. There we go, that's the Toyota Tundra. Okay, Toyota Corolla. All right, here's three of them, hatchback car. Bigger than the Honda Fit. Not quite as roomy inside as like the Ford Fusion. Anyway, let's take a look at it and check out the MSRP. 
give you another view here. A nice little rims on it. Not a bad little car, I must say. All right, let's check out the uh, VIN, uh, MSRP on the VIN and take a look inside. Okay, $25,413 is the MSRP on this Toyota Corolla. Here's a look inside. Low to the ground, I must say. Uh, cloth interior on this one, kind of leather wrapped, not too bad inside. Nice little hatchback. Let's take a look at the front. I'm going to move up front here so you can see it. Yeah, Toyota Corolla. Here's a look at the other two. That's a look at the Cor Toyota Corolla. All right, I just wanted to show you this here too real quick. Toyota Corolla, this is the SE model. Uh, no hatchback. This has got your full size, you know, your trunk on it. I don't, shouldn't say full size, but it has a trunk. The Sport uh, Edition. Let's take a look at the rims and inside the front of it. Do a little walk around. Okay, Toyota Corolla SE model. Now this sticker is just shy of uh, $32,000. This is a 2020. They put the camera inside here. This is cloth interior. Got the flat screen, leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice little car. All right, let's take a look at the front of this Toyota Corolla. This is the uh, sport model, the SE model Corolla here. It's got a trunk. It's not a hatchback. 